Hi guys, it's Tiffany Chanel. I just left the nursery and I went and got another picture plant. I figured since I have a fly problem that if I put the picture plant up around the area where the flies are, they'll eat the flies and then I'll be okay because I've been putting those stinking bags up there and they do work wonderfully. I had about at least 50 flies in there on the first day. Uh, the flies are gonna be extinct messing with me in those bags. But they smell so bad. Um, so I decided to get a picture plant to see if I can control the flies with that without the smell. I also got a parlor palm. This right here, they have, if you look down here, they have like three individual plants in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna separate them. And then the lady at the nursery she broke off one of these plants that she was um, getting together for a customer. And she gave me this and look at the roots on there. So I'm gonna get this, pot, this potted up and I'm gonna see what that grows into. Okay guys, stay tuned. So because I stayed at the nursery so long, the sun is out and I'm allergic to sun. So now I am mandated to work on this table. I had to pull it in the shade a little bit. But um, this is what I'm gonna do. This, this picture plant is what I'm going to um, plant in this. I'm gonna submerge it in water because it grows in water. Um, it grows in marshy lands. Um, so what I found out about this picture plant is they have this nectar on the inside of it. And it's called a, a picture plant because it has a rim right here. If you can see the rim of this plant, I'm trying to show you the rim of the plant. Okay, there's a better view. So when the flies get around it, it folds back and it has this chemical in it that is um, it almost like it drugs the the bug it drugs the bug and relaxes the bug and then the bug flies it slides right on down here my hummingbirds are fighting um, and it slides right on down here and it digests so because I was having a fly problem I went back and got another picture plant and I'm just getting off work and so I have to do this really quick so I'm just gonna put some rocks in the bottom of it and hopefully that's enough. And I'm just gonna sit it right down here in the side and stuff that it was in. It has moss around it. So I'm just gonna put it right back in its own little habitat and make it look really cute in the little bowl. Ooh, it's hot out here. And then I'm gonna fill the rest up with rocks. I don't wanna drop these rocks, so I'm gonna have to bend down a smidge. And here you go, guys. That is the picture plant. That's all I'm gonna do to it. And I'm going to get that water in, get it cleaned up, fill it with water, and there you go. It's ready to go. I'm not gonna sit that up there. 
Next, I am going to do this parlor palm. This parlor palm has the three nodes in the bottom of it. The people that manufacture these um, plants, they plant them by seed. So I'm going to break them apart because this plant was $16.99 and I need to get all my $16.99's worth out of it. So very carefully, I'm going to pull them apart without disturbing the roots. And I don't want to pull too hard. So I'm just going to cut them apart. And there you have, you have three plants. And if I would have bought them out smaller than this, they would have been $5.99 but they didn't have any in the nursery. Next guys, we're gonna get these um, parlor palms planted up. These are some little boots I have. Um, I don't like to have as lots and lots of planters around my garden, but I mean, I have to because they're plants. But if I can get decorative things, I will. These have the holes in them already, so they really are planters. I took the liberty of putting rocks at the bottom of them already to save some time. I have my soil mix already in the pot. So I'm gonna get that in there. And I am just gonna stick this right there. I'm putting it in something small because I want this to be cute and quaint and not big and gaudy. This is another plant that can grow in water. So I'm gonna keep this really moist. It's a shade plant. So it doesn't like much sun. So I'm gonna put it in my shady area. And there you go. My parlor pump, isn't it cute guys? I'm gonna come back and show you all where I set it. You know when you go outside and you go to a place to eat and they have um, a eating area outside? So my little tiki bar, I'm trying to create this ambiance around it to make it seem as if it's a, a place in the garden. They have all these um, fairy decorations you can get little chairs and gates and all that it looks so neat although i don't have anywhere to put it but i will find somewhere because i like it so of course the soil is going to go down a little more after i get it watered in and there you have it again that's the other one Cool and quaint. So I'm going to get these cleaned up. I'm going to get those other plants potted in. This one was a plant that the lady in the nursery gave me. And it already has a good root system to it. And I'm going to get that potted in. And then I have to go to sleep. Guys, the sun is up so much, I cannot even work. Look at that area. See all that sun? I don't even have any shade to work in. But I do have my parlor palm. It is planted in a Folgers can. You always have to be prepared when you get new pots. If it is something I can drill a hole in the bottom, it is definitely a planter. This is the picture plant. And this is the tiki area. Look at that. That is a real area. We have to give that a name. I have some plant starts down here. I'm growing more, um, I'm growing more, uh, what am I growing? Canna lilies. This is my corn plant that I was asking for help for. 
it's not producing anything but I did this one yesterday and took it apart from there and I already have two new sprouts right there and right there isn't it cool I should have separated those a long time ago and here you have the plant that was donated to me from the nursery and you have the hosta that was done on yesterday and mr. owl okay guys thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.